And we're back. And we are back with... We are back. Biblin episode 42. Genesis, the first book of Moses, 42. Everyone's favourite number. Cosmic, That's one say. of my favourite numbers. It's uh, up there. It's I'm in my first, top 100. I think, on this one. Yeah, go on. Um, are we just going to no, go No on? news, no stats, Bible is happening, let's go. All right, let's just fucking crack on. We need to get through <laughs> this. Genesis 42. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, all, right. Right, all right. Cracking right, on right, does right. not include just like, you know, throwing everything under the bus. Yeah. There's formalities yeah. To, to cover here. Yeah. All right. Chill out, lad. Um, <laughs> it is the. What the fuck is it? The Old Testament. Oh, God. I don't know. I haven't even got that in front of me either. It is the. King King James It's the first testament the King, King? James 1611 edition 1611 uh the first book of Moses Genesis called Genesis sorry Genesis yep. 1 Yeah uh 1 Genesis 42 <laughs> 1 Yeah yep. fucking hell Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt Jacob said unto his sons why do ye look upon another Gen- uh, sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna have to pull you up straight oh, away no. because it's why do ye look one upon another? Oh, that's just a shit sentence, isn't it? Really, Genesis forty-two <laughs> one. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? Genesis forty-two two. And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither, and buy a. Buy for us thence that we may live and not die. Genesis 42 3. <laughs> and Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. Genesis 42 4. But Benjamin, Joseph, bro- Joseph's brother Jacob, sent not with his brethren, for he said, Lest peradventure mischief befall him. Genesis 42 5. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. Genesis 42, 6, and Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land, and Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces of the earth. To oh, the earth, and I'm so sorry, but yeah, it's oh, too I saw the that. Earth. I saw that as I said it. That is bollocks, that is. Uh, such Genesis, a long one as well. Genesis 42, 6. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold all the people of the land. Sorry, it's, sorry, it's, sorry. It's, it's sold oh, to all. fuck off. <laughs> That's fine. Genesis 42, 6. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. Whee! Whee! Right, shite. Genesis 42, <laughs> 7. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? <laughs> and they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. <laughs> Genesis 42, Why 8. the fuck do oh, we need nonsense, all mate. of those words just to get it from, basically, Egypt was selling food, they sent some blokes down to buy the food and then Joseph was like, what can I do for you? And they're like, yeah, we're here to buy some food. 100% man. The Bible's <laughs> basically a pamphlet but then they just added and his brethren and they knew and then this and then that but it's just the same <laughs> sentence over and over and over. Uh, Genesis 42, 8. And Joseph knew his brethren but they knew not him. Genesis 42, 9. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. Genesis 42, 10. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. Cool. I'm Genesis. Done. Yeah, step back. <laughs> Drop the mic. Chill out. Have a beer. Yeah, relax for a bit. <laughs> Jesus. Genesis 42, 11. We are all one man's sons. We are true men. Thy servants are no spies. Genesis 42, 12. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. Genesis 42, 13. And they said, 
thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan, and behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. Genesis 42, 14, and, jo uh, and Joseph said unto them, That is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Genesis 42, 15. Thereby ye shall be proved. Oh, sorry, but mate. Yes. <laughs> It's not there, but I... It's ah, there, yeah. I. Sorry, I was right at the start of that um, sentence. King there. James is so pernickety about these things. It's <laughs> difficult to keep up. Okay, Genesis Bloody 42, James. 15. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Genesis forty two sixteen. Send one of you and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison that your words may be proven, whether there be any truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh sh surely ye are spies. Genesis forty two seventeen. And he put them all together into ward three days. Genesis forty two eighteen. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do, and live, for I fear God. Genesis forty two nineteen. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses. Genesis forty two twenty. But bring your youngest brother unto me, so shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And... They did so. <laughs> Got through it. Uh, through it. Me again, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Genesis forty-two twenty-one, And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. Genesis forty two twenty two, and Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye will not hear. Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. <laughs> is Did I forget to mention? We need his Did blood I as well. To <laughs> Side note: We need his blood. <laughs> Genesis forty two twenty three, and they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. Genesis forty two twenty four, and he turned himself about from them and wept and returned to them again and communed with them and took from them Simeon and bound him before their eyes. Genesis forty two twenty five, and Joseph commanded to fill their sacks. Sorry, with corn. sorry, it's 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 then Joseph, not and uh, Joseph. Yeah, Just... all right, fair enough. That's a completely different word, really, isn't it? So good that you called me out on that. Genesis forty two twenty five, then. Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's money into his sack and to give him permission for the way. And thus did he unto them. Genesis 42, 26. And they laded their asses with the corn and departed thence. <laughs> what? Laded their asses with the corn. Oh, I wouldn't want to get my ass laded by corn. You never want to get corn laded in your arse. <laughs> <laughs> Not the arse, Genesis. anyway. <laughs> Genesis 42:27 and as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn he <laughs> espied his money for behold it was in his sack's mouth <laughs> is that what that is he keeps on? his money in a little bag and he shoves it up his ass and then whenever he has to go to the tavern he like yeah, has to pull it back out, out of coin. his ass yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Genesis forty two twenty eight. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying to one another, What is this that God hath done unto us? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you shove that there? Don't do that. Why Not of my ass. <laughs> Genesis forty two twenty nine. And they came out. Genesis forty two twenty nine, and they came unto Jacob their father unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that be befell unto him, saying, Genesis forty two three, the man who is the lord of the land spake roughly to us, and took him no fucking hell. 
Genesis 42.30, The man who is the lord of the land spake roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. Genesis 42.31, and he... Oh, fuck. Genesis 42.31, and we said unto him, We are true men. We are no spies. Genesis 42.32, We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is. This day with our father in the land of Canaan. Genesis 42.33, And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone. Genesis 42.34, And bring your youngest brother unto me, then shall I know that ye are not spies, but that ye are no... Uh, fuck. Genesis 42.34, And bring your youngest brother unto me, then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So I will deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. Genesis 42.35. <laughs> Did you just die a little bit there? In that yeah, just breath. a small amount. A small amount. It's just like... Uh... Just got to get through it, why? mate. Just why? We've only got why seven more episodes to do. Stop it. Today. Just, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need that, all right? That just, doesn't help, does it? That just, doesn't actually help. That really let's just do help. word for word. One word at a time, we'll eventually get there. Yeah, cool. I, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis 42. 35. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. Genesis 42.36 And Jacob, their father, said unto them, We have ye bereaved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not, and ye will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. Genesis 42, 37. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee, deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. Genesis 42, 38. And he said, my son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befell, befall him on... Mm, it's not on, though, is it? Bah! Bah! <laughs> Genesis 42, 38, and he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead. And he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the grave. And so ends Genesis 42. It's quite funny. Your so voice it's a lot of just like getting, getting the sons to. Ugh. It's it's almost too much, but so it's just a lot of like getting the sons to the place they need to be to continue the story, taking ages to say it. Basically, there's a famine. They'll get the food. They keep their money in their assholes. They drop the money out, and everyone's scared about that. Yeah. Anything more to add? I got literally nothing to add. No. <laughs> I got zero to add, unfortunately. Ugh. We need like a good like. Uh, energetic chapter you know this is just too much going round in circles it, uh, he's trying to uh, this is what it is King James is trying to throw us off the scent he's trying to like make it hard for us and in my book that's not on but it's his book so we haven't really got anything to yeah what could we say you know you can't you can't judge King King James harshly, really. You can't judge King James using 2020 logic. You know, he was in 1611, so it's a different time. So these words are absolutely meaningless to us. This is nonsense, complete drivel. Like, the sentences don't make any sense. Yeah. It's just all bollocks. I don't but think one word is in modern English, any of that. 1611 times. This was like, all right, mate, how's it going? Mm -hmm. It's that sort of, uh, you know, it's... You just can't judge it, you know? So we're not here to judge. We're just here to read wow. these words. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I judge. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we're not here for that. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the point I was making in that moment, Connor. 
<laughs> I actually don't know what point I was making of it. Um, right, so this has been a, a episode 42 of Biblin. Thanks for listening. Ah. Catch you in the next one, Bibblers. <laughs> Goodbye. Toodles. <laughs>